Hello my dear friends, welcome to Python programming playlist. In this video, we are going to see another Python program to perform reverse of a number. In this, we will take a number from the user and calculate its reverse. First, let us create a blank Python file with the name reverse. So here we are giving this name as reverse to the python file and here you can see that the blank python file is created. Let us write down the problem definition which says that write a program to print reverse of inputted number using user defined function. Now my dear friends the important thing here is that we have to write our own function that is a user defined function to perform this task of reversing an inputted number. That means first we need to take a number as an input from the user. So here is the syntax for doing that. Here we are making use of the input function. In the input function, the prompt message return is enter the number. And that number is converted into the type of integer because you want to convert that integer number into its reverse. So here, first we are taking a variable with the name reverse underscore num this variable is given the initial value is 0 because this number will hold the reversed number of the inputted number after the function that is defined its execution is completed now let us write down the function so we are defining a function with the name reverse underscore function and this is taking a number as an argument so what this will do is here this function reverse underscore function will take up a number argument compute its return print that value so this reverse number will be there in the variable the global variable defined as reverse underscore num now to use that global variable we have to define with the variable as the same name that is there outside the function this is the reverse underscore num variable that is defined outside the function with an intention to hold the reverse of the given number and we are writing this keyword global that means while referring to this variable it will refer to the global variable reverse underscore num now we will write a loop that will continue till the inputted number is greater than 0. So what this next step will do is it will do the iteration so there is a loop that will do the iteration and in that iteration the inputted number that is there in num will get reduced by an operation and this loop will continue till it becomes 0. Because 0 indicates that the number that is entered is being processed successfully. So here we are writing the while loop which will take the number that is there in the function call and it will continue till this number is greater than 0. So my dear friends what will happen next is that we will do some operation on this number. This number will keep on reducing after each iteration and we have stopping when the number becomes 0. So the first step for doing this reverse is getting the remainder. 
Now to get the remainder, we are doing this modulus operation that is num mod 10. So it will get us the last digit of the number and that we are storing it into R. Because what we will do is we will take the last digit and append it in the first to make the number reverse. That means if the number is let's say 1, 2, 3, then we are taking the 3 first and giving it to reverse number and this will continue till the number is completely reverse. Now this is the step where we are actually appending the remainder to get the reverse number. Because let's say the reverse number is initially 0. So what we will do is we will uh, add this 3 to it. So now my reverse number will start from 3 because my original number is ending at 3. Then the next iteration it will take 2 and then it will make it 32 and so on. Now in this step the number is divided by 10 that means num equal to num divided by 10 this will remove the last digit to get the next digit from the inputted number. That means after 1 2 3 it will remove this 3 and it will give me 12. So in the next iteration the num value will become 12 to do the operation. Now once this loop is complete what we will have is we will have the reverse of the number in the variable reverse underscore num. So we are calling this function reverse underscore function with an inputted value num and after this function is done that means the loop is complete we will have the reverse of the num into the variable reverse underscore num. So now we just have to print this so that we can verify whether the operation that we are doing is perfectly done or not. So here first we are taking an input that is stored into the number num then we are writing this function which will do the reverse of the number. We are calling the function and then we are printing the reverse num which is the reverse of the entered number. Now let us run this program and see the output. So here it is asking enter the number. Let us enter 1, 2, 5, 6 as an input. So this is a random number given as an input to this function. Here you can see that the reverse of the number is 6, 5, 2, 1. So now what is happening is it is doing the perfect thing that we are asking it to do. Let us run it once again in the debugger mode. Let us enter the number 1, 2, 5, 3, 5. So we know that the reverse of this number is 5, 3, 5, 2, 1. And that is what the exact output that we are getting. So this function reverse is working perfectly fine for us. Now let us try and understand step by step what it is doing. So for this input 12535 it is taking 5 by the modulus operation. Then it is giving it to reverse num and this number becomes 1253. Then it will again take 3. So 5 multiplied by 10 is 50 plus 3 is 53. So 35 reverse is 53 and this loop will continue for the rest of the number. And it will give us the final result 53521. So I hope that this is clear. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more videos on Python programming.